week and happy Sunday, y'all. How y'all doing out there today? I hope y'all doing good. Y'all, I don't know what kind of weather we got today. It's between spring and I don't know. We, it's about 50 something degree. <laughs> but y'all, we got something good for y'all for Sunday dinner today. But before we get to that, let's go on and take care of the housekeeping. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also hit the bell to be notified. So every time you know I come on, you'll get that alert and you can watch me the same day. And if you feeling extra good, you can watch a commercial too. <laughs> y'all. But look, I'm going to go ahead and get with it because I know you busy. It's Sunday. You're trying to get stuff ready for the kids tomorrow and all that stuff. But we're going to make some chicken fried steaks, okay? Some people call them country fried steaks. Some people call it chicken fried steaks. So we're going to make chicken fried steaks with white gravy, okay? Girl, it's going to be good. I'm already tasting it. But look, I got some cube steaks right here, okay? We got some cube steaks. My hands are clean, so... I'm going to go ahead and we're going to season it a little bit. I'm going to put some of the blend on there and it got salt, garlic, and pepper in it. So we ain't going to over season it because we're going to put some uh, seasoning in our flour and stuff, okay? I hope y'all doing good out there. Is it pretty? What's the weather where y'all at? Shoot, it's different all over. I done heard it all when I heard it was snowing in California. I was like, what? We, we, we got summer here and they got snow. It's kind of flip-flop. <laughs> okay. So now we're just going to make sure we pack that season off in there. Okay. And these cube steaks, if y'all ain't never seen cube steaks, you know, they already, you see them little holes in it and stuff. So they already done got all, you know, chopped up and stuff and stuff. So, you know, they already done did that for us. They the easy part. I said chopped up. <laughs> I said chopped up on y'all. You know what I mean. Shoot. <laughs> y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. So we're gonna we gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put this on a plate because we're gonna get our flour and egg mixture together. And this stuff gonna be good, y'all. It's gonna be real good. Okay. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, y'all, I'm back. Okay, I got, this is about a cup and a half of buttermilk, but you can you can use regular milk or whatever you wanna use, okay? This is like uh, a cup and a half of buttermilk. Okay, so what we gonna do to the butter, oh, matter of fact, let me tell you, <laughs> raise the camera back up. <laughs> Y'all trying to sabotage me already. Y'all made me up here talking about they chopped it up already. You know what I mean. I meant to say tenderized. I went blank, okay? I don't try to edit nothing. If I if it come out like it, it come out like it. But I meant tenderize the meat, okay? <laughs> okay, get back to it, okay? Okay, so this is, you, you heard what I said. That's a cup and a half. We gonna put two eggs in here, okay? That's two eggs, two large eggs. Now, what I'm gonna put in here, I'm gonna put some hot sauce. I use some crystal hot sauce. We're gonna put some, you know, it's not a certain measurement. It's not gonna make it hot, okay? Put some hot sauce. And then we're just gonna mix this together. Mix it together. Ooh, that hot sauce smells good. Okay, just gonna keep stirring. Till it's well combined. Y'all a trip, I already try to sabotage me. I just started this video. <laughs> Fire salt better to do. <laughs> okay, we got that well combined. Now we're gonna get the uh, flour. This is all-purpose flour. It's about two cups in here, okay? So we're going to season this flour. You see it's just white flour, white all-purpose flour. So oh shoot. we're going to season it with some Tony's. You can put your favorite seasons. This is what I'm putting in mine, okay? Stand back because, honey, Tony's will, will release your sinuses. <laughs> Garlic powder. Yes, he's up in my nose right there. So onion powder. 
I'm just going to combine that. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do the dipping, okay? What we start out with, hold on, what's it? Excuse me, y'all, I'm sorry. I was away from the food, I promise. That tone is, I told you, it releases the sinus passages. But we're going to put, okay, we're going to start with the flour. Get it dredged in the flour. We're going to double dip, okay? I told you what that tone is doing. Double dip. Then we uh dredge it in the uh milk mixture. Get it off for now. Make sure you get out. Try to drip as much off as you can. Real easy, y'all. It's not hard at all. And it don't take long to fry up. Okay. Then we just get it coated in this flour. Get it good and coated. Okay. Try to coat it as good as possible. Pat it off in there. And since it's been tenderized, you know, got those little slits in it, it get off in them creases like that. So that flour get in them creases good. Okay, she look good. Okay, then I'm just gonna sit this to the side. I'll sit it to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them, okay? But you want me to do one more? Okay, I'll do one more. <laughs> We're gonna put it in the flour. Put it in the flour. I'll do one more for you, girl. It ain't no problem. I gotta do it anyway. Ain't no problem. Okay, and then we put it in our egg mixture. Boom. Try to get as much off as possible. Then we're gonna put it back in the flour. Coated. And we're gonna let it sit on uh sit out for about a couple of minutes so it can you know get on the meat and stick to it pretty good so it won't come off in the oil. So I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes. But that's all it is to it. I'm gonna do the other two and I'll be right back, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So I got the oil heated up to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna put the first chicken fried steak in there. Do it slowly. Okay, then we're going to get our second one. We're just going to put two at a time. Bam. You see her? <laughs> it don't take that long, y'all. Probably like three to four minutes per side. So, I'm going to go on and let that cook up and we're going to be ready to flip her. Okay, I'll be back when we get ready to flip. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I just flipped her. Look out, ain't she cute? She cute. She cooked about four minutes and I flipped her. Gave her this pretty golden brown. So I'm gonna let it finish cooking. And then uh, I'm gonna show you what we gonna do next. I'll be back. 
Okay, y'all, I'm back. Now we're about to make the white gravy for our, our chicken fried steak. This is like four tablespoons of melted butter. So what we're gonna do is put four tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour. And you just wanna continuously stir. Four tablespoons. You want to keep stirring because you don't want that flour taste, okay? Stir, stir, stir. And I also have like a half a cup of chicken broth. We're going to put a half a cup of chicken broth in there just for some flavor. And then we're going to use our regular whole milk. That good and stir it up in now. Try to get that flour taste out. Y'all, this gonna be good. Quit playing. Quit playing with her. Just wanna, we don't like this part cause it's like, you know, you just stirring. <laughs> but we gotta do it right, y'all. We gotta do it right so it can taste good. Okay? So now we're gonna put our chicken broth. We can put a half a cup. Just keep stirring. Keep stirring. Girl, you building these arms up. Okay, now we're gonna put our whole milk in now. A little bit, try to get them, get them lumps out. Okay. Ooh, girl, you making me splatter. <laughs> you making me splatter this. Okay. Let's get the lumps out. Okay. Let me go ahead and get all these lumps out and I'll be back because I know you probably don't want to see me do this. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I poured the rest of the milk in there. It's like two cups of whole milk. So now I'm just gonna let it thicken up. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh get some seasoning in here in a minute. Make sure all the little lumps are out. What season the season I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put some black pepper, uh some Tony's, and uh a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm going to let this uh, thicken up a little bit and make sure I get all the little lumps out. And we're going to come back and season it, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Now, if it's too thick for you, you can thin it out by using uh, either some chicken broth or you can use some more milk. You know, it's up to you, okay? So now we're going to put some seasoning. I'm going to start out by putting some tonings in here. Because you want that gravy to taste fine. Put some black pepper. We're going to put a little seasoned salt, or you can use salt. I'm going to put some garlic powder. Then you just stir it up. And then you just taste test and see what you're missing. Look at her. She cute. Yeah, this is the consistency I want right here. Look at her. She cute. And then I'm just going to plate her up and we're going to see how she look. Okay, I get it. Hey, y'all. I'm back and I'm finished with this chicken fried steak, y'all. I ain't going to hold you. Go look at her. Go look at her. Ain't she cute? I put that white gravy on top and I paired it with some green beans and mashed potatoes and a biscuit. Quit playing with her. Look at that country uh, dinner. I was going to say brother. <laughs> look at that.
that country down on? Come on now, she cute. <laughs> Yo, thank y'all so much for tuning in with me on this Sunday. I know you busy, you got stuff to do. I ain't gonna hold you. But look, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, comment, hit that like button. Also hit the bell to be notified so when I come on, you'll get it the same day. You can watch it the same day and also watch a commercial too if you got time. But look, please stay safe out there and I love y'all. And y'all have a wonderful week next week. And I'm going to see you again next time. Bye-bye.